on the biceps today. I've got seven and a half kilo weight. So I'm simply just gonna stand tall and lift. Controlled, up and down. Your biceps are gonna get pretty fatigued quickly and what happens is we tend to move our body. Try to keep your body still. If you're struggling to do so, that's when we drop the weight. Bend the knees slightly, pull the ribs in, up tall. Okay, from here we're going to do a type of cross body curl. So you're going to come through and up. Okay, you can have one weight in the other hand holding or you can just leave the weight down. So from here, okay, nice and controlled. So it's a type of cross the body movement in a hammer held style. So your way you should be feeling is your biceps are already starting to burn. Okay, so you're really feeling it but I'm not moving my body as I swing the weight up, okay? Really going through with stability in the core. All right, rest out, other side. So remember you can stretch out if you need to in between. Ribs come in as you prepare to lift that weight. Other side, let's do this. So breathing deeply, set up. You can use the other hand if it's not with a weight on your core to keep it strong and stable. Ten seconds. Woo! One more for me. So recovering from my injury, I have to be very mindful that I don't start to elevate into my traps. If I elevate into my traps, I put pressure on my neck. And I also have to make sure that my, my thoracic is released as I do this. So we're going to do a hammer head curl, okay? Just up and down, very similar to position to last time. But this time, we are not going across the body. So if you want, you can hold a weight like this or put it down. I'm going to just lift up and down. I wanna make sure that I don't overdo any pressure because as the weight gets heavy for me, my traps tend to take over. And that's not what I'm looking for. So I want to work on quality as the movement over quantity or weight. So if you are feeling it like me, you simply just rest and put it down. So I'm gonna go to the other side. I'll show you this exercise a little closer on the other side. Now to make it a little bit tougher, what you can do is come up and hold a tiny bit. All right, let's get ready. So from here, lifting up and down. Up, hold, and you can have your hands here to remind you of your core. Hold and down. Hold and down, beautiful. So at any time, you just pop the weights down and rest. If you're losing form, best thing you can do. I'm gonna do one more for me. Rest. And so now we're going to the wide curl. This is gonna to start to get a lot harder. You'll have fatigue. Remember, really sit into that with your bent knees, pull in your pelvis and your ribs, shoulders down 
as we lift. So here is a good time to start to drop to lower weights if you're finding that you're really struggling to lift. So I'm going to go nice and slow. I'm not in any rush here. I'm in the point of wanting to maintain good form and control. So I'm not trying to get heaps and heaps of reps. I'm trying to get quality reps. We've got one more rep for me. So these are seven and a half kilos. And earlier this year, I could barely lift five or three kilos. Okay, so now we're gonna do an isolation. We're gonna kneel and do it. So you're gonna need one dumbbell only, okay? You're gonna have one leg forward here. And from here, you're gonna pick it up. Leg is your support for the bicep and down. Beautiful. So when you get fatigued, you just pop the bell down, shake it off, rest, pick it up, and again, back you go into it. And you should be getting fatigued, as this is hard. One more. Beautiful. So now we have to swap sides. Now one leg is going to be, and arm side is going to be much easier than the other. So I hope that we did the hard one first. Okay, so you're getting ready, and then lifting up and down. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Remember, take a moment if you need to. Rest off. Then pick it up when you've got your form and start curling. One more. Beautiful. And that's it for the bicep curls. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, change your weights as you need to. Don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe. Your support means the world. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.